God bless in Jesus name Gulfport Mississippi this is the beach area hallelujah not too many people on the beach but this is Gulfport Mississippi we over here right now we're looking for a place to preach but we actually can't find one hallelujah to the Lamb of God Sometimes you just got to keep searching and searching and ask God to lead you and guide you and sooner or later you see that perfect place to stand on the sidewalk or on the corner and to cry aloud and to preach the gospel. It's important that we preach the word of God in these last days. It's important that Christians go out there and tell the people that they have to repent it's important that you walk in your calling and don't get stagnant don't get complacent there's too many Christians who are that or who are at ease in Zion and they're just sitting around doing nothing for Jesus they have withered the way on the inside the Bible says that if you disconnect yourself from Jesus that you're gonna wither away and my friend if you get complacent and get stagnant you're going to disconnect from the Lord Jesus because Jesus wants to use you, Christian. And if you disconnect from the Lord, my friend, you're going to wither away on the, on the vine. You're going to be a branch that withers away. And before you know it, you're going to be cast into the fire and burned up with the rest of the withered away branches. I know there's some Christians that probably won't like what I'm saying right now, but that's what the Bible says in John chapter 15. We got to stay connected to the source. We got to keep moving with the Lord. God wants to use us. We have a testimony. God has given us his word. He has commissioned us as ministers of reconciliation. That means God wants to reconcile people through his son Jesus back to right relationship but the only way that they can be reconciled is they got to hear the preaching they got to hear the message of the cross that Jesus died for their sin so that they can be convicted we must preach against sin we must warn them that there's a judgment and that God offers his love through Jesus but they must be willing to abide in God's love they must be willing to Obey the Lord Jesus. Deny themselves and pick up their cross. That's the foundational scripture right there. And what Jesus preached on about salvation. He said in Luke 9, 23. He says, anyone who desires to come after me must first deny themselves and pick up their cross and follow me. That means Jesus is saying, hey, you want eternal life? You want to abide with me forever? Deny yourself and pick up your cross. Put down your flesh. Surrender yourself to my word. Give your life away to Jesus. That's what he's saying. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. But this is Gulfport, Mississippi. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God.